bird. It looked like no kidding, a rock to me. I kid you negative. I have no idea what it was, but uh, basically just heads up. Try to stay away from 17,000. Keep your nugget on so I have no idea what it was. I'm going to use my radar to see if I can pick this object up again. I picked it up twice. The first time I picked it up, my radar broke lock, so I thought it was just uh, some kind of bad lock or potential chaff. And I'm going to turn back towards the uh, north just a little bit. Fuel pickup trail. Back, I'm going to uh, start coming back towards the uh, west. I think it was 004 for about 20. I've got it again. It's a 177. Three miles off my nose, it's 17, yeah, 17 7. I'm flying that way now. I'm going to slow down. I'm not going to get below 300 knots, but uh, back towards you. Dude, I can't tell. Some small, very small black object. I had it at 17 7. He just flew right, it just flew right over me. From the object appears stationary? Well, I, I could tell because it was just moving too slow. I think it's moving about 30. Yeah, my radar show between 30 and 60, so I have no idea what it's actually doing. But it wasn't 17, the first time I saw it, it's 17.7, so it's not falling. I don't think it was a bird. Better watch the photo again. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. 你看那什么东西啊那个哎那个那个黑的那个飞机呢不是飞飞机哪没有黑色黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色
King James Version of the Bible, Zechariah chapter 5. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes, and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. earth, earth, earth. This secret weapon was used in the war of Atlantis, Atala. It is a craft known as Linux. They obviously have a different body configuration than we do, and the little, uh, the little grays, that's the most prevalent one. He walked on the moon. Tonight, he says, aliens are among us. Former astronaut Lake Worth resident Edgar Mitchell has raised some eyebrows and ruffled some feathers with his claims. Tonight, News Channel 5's Tim Malloy goes one-on-one -on -one with this true believer. With his beloved terrier in his lap and his comfortable Lake Worth home, he could be a retired insurance salesman. But take a look at Edgar Mitchell's wall, his photo gallery, that picture taken on the moon, February the 6th, 1971. What more can an explorer want than to be where humans have never been and to observe 
gather your data, go back and tell the people. Ed Mitchell can captivate you talking about his nine hour and 17 minute moonwalk. It was a record. But there's something else he'd like you to know. I don't know how many or where or how they're doing it, but uh, they've been observing us and here for quite some time. And we see these craft all the time. Ed Mitchell is a straight talker and a true believer that we are not alone. I believe what I'm saying and I cite the evidence that I know. He says that the government he served in the military and as an astronaut is perpetuating cover-ups of alien sightings going all the way back to the legendary 1947 Roswell incident, an alleged alien spacecraft crash where remains were allegedly recovered. The reason for the denial was uh, number one we didn't they didn't know if these were hostile and could we uh, protect ourselves from them, didn't want the Soviets to know, so they devised to, to lie about it and cover it up. Mitchell is unbothered by critics who think the guy with the right stuff has taken a wrong turn. He has no doubt there are alien craft observing Earth right now, and many more out there looking for us. How many civilizations could there be, or do you believe there are out there? Billions. We've got billions of uh, billions and billions of stars in a galaxy and billions and billions of galaxies and it doesn't take uh, but, a, but a few planets around a few stars to have quite a few uh, civilizations. Dr. Mitchell is one of only 12 people who have walked on the moon. He says he has never personally seen an alien but believes the people who say they have. ...through the trees without any problem seeing it. Stephen Brown watched it over Sacramento. Hans Mount spotted it over Auburn. Kind of approached from over that direction and <clears throat> came across kind of slow. Did they see the same thing that Kay Pinlack saw in Stockton? Pretty much right above this palm tree here. Multiple right. objects, he says, captured on his iPhone. I've, I've seen like six bright orange colored lights. And they're like in, almost in a diamond or triangle shape. It, it was weird. And so they started just separating. See that other one up there on the right though? And not just Northern California. Somebody posted this video from the Hollywood Hills on YouTube. Multiple glowing objects out there among the New Year's Eve fireworks. And now it's three there's more. Two, there's two of them. No, no, no. There's three all together, right? Four. No, it's four, four now. In Auburn, Hans and his wife Terry saw it a few hours earlier than the other sightings. But there was no sound. That's the funny thing. Or, or the lights. You know, yeah. the usual lights. No sound, the blinking uh, lights, just <laughs> this big illuminated form. And whatever it was, moved up and to the left. Uh, it hovered there for probably about 60 seconds and then it took off at a high rate of speed out of sight directly away from us and just disappeared. Of course we're always looking for rational explanations for UFO sightings. This 2008 sighting over the Sacramento Valley turned out to be an airplane with an electronic sign under the wings. A year later a mysterious flashing light near Placerville turned out to be arcing power lines. There's a light. We're still waiting to find out if there's a rational explanation for what people saw last 